So now that we have our wireframes down on our piece of paper, what we would like to do is import some of those designs, if they are good or consistent, into Sketch. So again, once you have installed Sketch, you've downloaded it, and you have the free trial version for, let's say, 30 days, um, this is going to be your main page uh, to load up the sketch. So currently I'm at version 41.2 and hopefully the trial version for you should be 41.2 as well. So you know this is the welcome page from sketch. You can either choose from an existing template depending on what you are going to be designing. So if Android icon, iOS app icon, a material design for Android or for iOS it'll be iOS or web design. So in this particular case, we're just going to focus on the new document, right? So nothing fancy. Okay, so here's our new document. So let me explain some of the layout to you, so that way you understand a little bit more about Sketch, and then we'll dive deeper into it. So as you can see above on the top right here, this will be the main bar for you to do different activities, mostly editing and also testing out your product in unique ways. So, for example, if I want to get an oval, insert an oval shape into the design, I click oval. If I, round, if I want a rounded type square, I'd click this. If I'd like to insert text, if I'd like to zoom in and out, draw a rectangle, these are the main options here for that. Also, there's editing, rotation, uh, flattening, and transforming. So, these will be more so later once your design, let's say, is a little bit more finished, since we don't currently have anything on our page. These are going to be options for us to edit and modify certain things. Then we go into creating symbols. So symbols are very unique because what we're going to be able to do with them is have certain blocks of our design uh, as a symbol so that way it can be reused across multiple designs. So a good example of this is going to be creating, let's say, a symbol for our mobile header. Our header is going to include our signal strength, our carrier, possibly our time, as well as our battery indicator. So that uh, status bar is always going to be shown on mobile uh, mockups just because it's necessary and it's part of the system, right? So that's a good way to, or that's a good one to create a symbol for, or a good example. Then there's ways to mask, ways to scale our particular design, making a grid. So we can have, for example, uh, if we have, let's say, a four by four matrix on our page and they're all very similar or duplicates, we can make it a grid so that way we only do one design for one of these cubes and then multiply it throughout our design to make it more simple, of course. Then there's an option to mirror. So if you have an iPhone device or I believe yeah, an iPhone device, you'll be able to download the application and then mirror whatever is happening on our screen here onto your iPhone. So that's actually a good way of testing and kind of seeing how your design works on the mobile. Um, you can upload your designs to cloud and then you can also kind of view different ways um, of seeing your landscape or seeing seeing your uh, main editor view here, right? This is going to be our main editor here. So without further ado, let's actually get started with our artboard. So we're going to add an artboard, and that's typically what you like to do your first time around when you are making any sketch product. And for this case, since we are focusing on a newsreader, I like to... Uh, add in an iPhone 7 Plus, okay, and this will be our page one, and we're going to actually rename this. So if we want to rename this, we can just double click here, and we'll call it News Reader 1, okay. Now, we can zoom in and out. If you have a MacBook, you just use your trackpad to zoom in and out of the design, so it's very easy that way. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of hitting a new artboard again, what I'm going to do is actually do Command D to duplicate this reader. Okay, so now we duplicate it and I'm going to modify the name to 2. Okay, so there we go. So this is Newsreader 1 and Newsreader 2. Okay, and now I'd like to add some components into our design. So actually we focused on three designs, so maybe we can actually focus on three here as well. So let me rename this to number three. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here are our three newsreaders. So when we look at our designs here, we're going to just mimic whatever we've done in our little designs and bring it's them into Sketch. Okay, so what we want to do, let's say for our first one here, so zoom in. 
create a lot of rectangles and blocks. We're going to just focus on blocks. We're not focusing on measurements or anything special like that. So what I'm going to do is click on rectangle and then create a rectangle here. Just like that. Okay. And as you can see, when you start dragging things around in Sketch, it's smart enough to know where the edge is. And if you hit the above edge or if you don't hit this edge, right? So make when you see the red kind of uh, show up, it's an indicator showing it's going to be edge to edge. If I zoom in, you'll see that it is edge to edge. And actually, you can even see the pixels when you zoom in or the cubes here, right? So it can be very detail oriented that way when you zoom in very closely. So there's that. So I'll make, I'll change, I'll leave the color as is. We'll focus on other things later. Um, so that's our uh, header, right? So we have our header. Um, we also have our menu option here. And we also have our title option here. So again, just very rough, just so you kind of get a feel uh, of it. Then we have our big rectangle here, which will most likely be a picture type icon. And now what I'd like to do is get a little bit deeper into uh, this, these editor options here. So um, you have position, which definitely modifies based on where we go in our design. You have size, which again, we could increase or increase the height, I mean, so you can kind of see it's going down. Or we can lock it and then increase both things at the same time. So we can do that, but again, we don't want to do that, so we'll unlock it. Again, you can rotate here, transform here, um, have radius for particular objects. So in this case, since it is more square or more rectangular, you can give it more radius so it looks a bit more rounded. So that's useful there. Um, you can have a specific type of style, but we're not focusing on that yet. Um, you have options of kind of making it transparent. So that way other designs can go underneath it, kind of create more layers, if you will, in the design. So you can do that. Um, and then the two most important options, at least what I find, is going to be the fills and also border. So right now, you know, we can remove a border, which is convenient, but we could also remove the fill and just show the border, right? So what we're going to do in this particular case with the fill is just add a bit of a darker color just so that way we can you know differentiate it in our design okay so what we're going to do is move it up here close it in and now I like to arrange this in the back so I'm just going to move it directly to the back so that way we know it's part of uh, the background okay then I'm going to copy this rectangle or actually I'll take this rectangle this will be our image here, which we have. So that's part of our design. Um, more text. So this one will be text here. This will be text as well. Okay. And then this will be a big block of text here. Okay. And then we'll have more action items down here. So we'll have one. Two. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, so there's that. Perfect. Okay, so that is basically our first screen, right? So it is going to be this one, the number one here that we've created. And again, I just showed it to you in block format so that way we can kind of see the layout make sure that we have all the right components in there for our news reader and I think it looks just fine. So what I like to do right now before we continue is save just because we haven't saved any of our work and as a good designer we want to make sure we can always save and be you know we don't lose our work that we've done. So what we're going to call it is news reader application or news reader wireframes Okay, we'll save that and in the next video what I'm going to do is duplicate some of this group these components 
we'll create our reader number two and our reader number three. But again, it'll be very basic. And then we'll start adding some key components in there for the final bit so that way you kind of get a warm up into Sketch. So that's more in the next video.